Okay, well, war is going all right. Austria dipped. I just got Brandenburg as a junior partner. And meanwhile, uh, Austria put a Habsburg on my throne. You guys know it's a hectic war when I just gloss over getting a random PU and uh, being elected emperor. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation, U4 and 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Europe and back in the Balkans with the nation of Herzegovina. Herzegovina is an orthodox nation that starts off sandwiched between some other small guys like Bosnia, Serbia, and Ragusa, and some powerful guys like Hungary and Croatia, and Venice as well. Now, even though it might be easy for us to deal with these guys, or, well, maybe not that hard, we still have the threat of the Ottomans looming to the south. We start off with this awesome 454 guy right here. Like I said, we are orthodox, and our national ideas are actually pretty good. We start off with plus one land leader maneuver and plus 10% goods produced, minus 15% percent CCR as a finisher and then we have tolerance of the true faith plus two missionaries plus one and missionary strength versus heretics plus one percent plus ten percent morale of armies plus one diplo rep income from vassals and vassal force limit contribution minus one national rest and plus one diplomatic relations so overall a very very nice idea set as Herzegovina but what do we do as Herzegovina well as a tiny Balkan nation why not do what has to be done kick out the Ottomans from the Balkans and conquer the entire region of the Balkans is this gonna be easy? Probably not. Am I gonna fail? Probably yes. The AI is a lot smarter now. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And boys, consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 100k subs. And maybe with your support, we can do it. Let's jump in as Herzegovina. All right, all right. Here we are as Herzegovina. Now, like I said, we do start off as an Orthodox nation. But I remember in my Bosnia run, it actually turned out very easy because we're Catholic. We were able to join the HRE or stuff like that, get some good allies. So because we have one Catholic province right here, I am actually actually gonna flip to Catholic so we can have an easier time finding some allies. Do we have unique missions? No, of course not. Can we form any other nations? No, of course not. And uh, I think the first thing we need to do here is probably fight Bosnia and Serbia. But first, let me get the estates in order and let me try and flip to Catholic. All right, all right, estate stuff done. And now what I think we need to do is send a missionary to whom right there and lower missionary maintenance all the way so we get some zealots and stuff. I think these nobles should flip to religious zealots and uh, we should be able to accept their demands right away. Assuming our country is mostly Catholic, which is about 50-50, so we might need to bump up whom a couple of times right here. Our force limit is, let's see right here, seven. So let's take this horse and tell him to leave and get three more infantry regiments right here uh i'm not gonna set any rivals just yet and i am gonna look for a diplo rep guy which i do have and uh i am gonna start improving with uh hungary and austria right here All right let's see if we can flip to catholic easily or will i have to mess around with some stuff we also got a free merchant i think i'm gonna send them to pest right now to establish communities and the nobles did turn to catholic zealots and we can accept their demands right away where catholic becomes the new state religion of herzegovina i know orthodox is slightly better but listen if we can get the Pope to like us, Catholic will be super, super useful. So let's go ahead and accept. And just like that, we are Catholic. Awesome. We should have an easier time getting alliances now and maybe even joining the HRE. And just like that, our relationship with Austria and Hungary immediately went from minus two to plus 58 awesome and i can even royal marry austria immediately which is awesome all right this has been one of my best decisions ever oh i can royal marry hungary too nice and there we go alliance with hungary secured as well we should be good for now uh let's go ahead and spy on bosnia here and improve with austria because i do want to ally them as well and now i'll rival bosnia ragusa and serbia are any of these guys guaranteed by the ottomans uh no i don't think so all right we're good and i did get a mill guy as well my plan here is to get tech four before Serbia and Bosnia do, and then we can crush them. That shouldn't be a problem at all. This guy's two mil. This guy right here is three mil. We're four, and we got an advisor, so we'll definitely be getting Miltech before them. The Ottomans are a lot more aggressive in this patch, I've noticed, so uh, let's hope they don't fight any of these guys before I do. Is Biz allied to any of them? No, so we should be good here. Yeah. I think the Ottomans will go for Biz and uh, the Balix first. Venice declared on Biz. Hmm. All right. I've allied Austria. I've built up claims on these guys. I've gotten a general. 3-2-3, by the way. Pretty good. And we are a Miltech ahead of these guys. So we can definitely go ahead and declare. So let's just go ahead and pounce on Bosnia right here. Kobolidra and Serbia. And I'm going to call in uh, Lancet, apparently, because I have favors with them. And let's go ahead and declare for this right here. We should be able to take these guys very easily with our Miltech advantage. 
Uh, no one has a level 3 fort, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, we're good. Let's get it, baby. First war time. And our work here is pretty much done. I even called in Hungary because, well, they offered to help. Well, they didn't offer, but, I, you know, I, I got this pop-up right there. So, now we can end this war. And what I'm gonna do is very, very simple here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna full annex both Serbia and Bosnia. And that's our first war done. We are now massive. And we have a gold mine. Now, Hungary dislikes me because I took provinces that they want, uh... Hmm, not even that many, man. What's up with this? Yeah, uh, it's no problem if uh, this alliance goes away. I got Austria now, which is mainly what I wanted. Uh, let's try and get friendly with Poland. Uh, that's not really going to be an option. Hungary did break their alliance with me, like I said, but I did ally three electors now. Maybe we can get a fourth one and try and go for the emperorship. Can I link with any other electors? Let's see right here. Uh, yeah, let's hook up with mines. All right, paid off the old loans, took some new burger loans. We can take this mission right here and we can state this up, which actually I already did. So let's encourage development and bump this province right here up to 10 production so we can uh, form some money. Yes. Next plan of attack here is to wait for the Ottomans to fight Albania and Venice and then we pounce on Venice as well so we can get Zara right here so we can hopefully join the HRE to offer us some additional production. And yeah, I don't know how we're gonna hit the Ottomans, man. Uh, I'm hoping Austria gets Hungary here. They got the Hunyadi. Ah, uh, I don't think they will. Yeah, unless they like declare on Hungary, they won't. Uh, I will need to link up with some stronger guys. So uh, yeah, main plan of attack, open up with Diplo ideas, try to become HRE Emperor, the Palatin is already voting for us, and uh, find some bigger allies to help us beat the Ottomans. And would you look at that? <laughs> It's happening right now. Tier 2 cover form time as well. Let's go with strength and noble privileges. All right, so I've also spied on Albania here, and I'm actually going to declare on them even though they won't exist pretty soon, just so I can call in Austria, because if I declare directly on Venice, Austria won't come in, and I'll also have to fight Aragon. So uh, let's go ahead and declare on Albania here, but the main goal of this war is to get this province, and let's call in these boys. And the Ottomans have peaced out Albania, which is expected, and I have received a new champion of the Joust. I'm already super low on prestige. I kind of feel like maybe I shouldn't take him, but then again, you know, uh, oh, 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 oh. I like that, my dear boy. I like that a lot. Uh, now Aragon has joined either way because uh, Venice is the main belligerent, I guess. Yeah, now I teched up to tech five, even though I don't have the Renaissance because I hit the points cap. Uh, yeah. We should open up with our first idea group right here, and like I did say earlier, it is gonna be Diplo. Alright, this war has gone on for way too long, we don't have a war goal, we'll never siege down Venice, so uh, I am gonna dip here, take these three provinces along with war reps, and uh, maybe a couple of ducats? Yeah, that's pretty much that, man. Alright, now we technically border the HRE, can we actually join it? Cannot be connected to the Empire, but we got a... we got a... sea tile. Another potential problem here, Hungary have allied France. Royal marriage with Poland, secured. Alliance with Poland, secured. Alright, now we got two potential guys that hate the Ottomans. I like that. I think I might try and hit these guys when they fight the Mamluks, honestly. Now hold up here, boys. Somehow I'm in the HRE, man. And I didn't do this. I didn't click join HRE. I don't think I did. You guys saw that that button was grayed out. But now I got the pop-up that the Teutons want to join. And apparently I am in the HRE. Dude, I don't get this latest patch at all, man. How did I join? Did Austria do something? Could Austria have invited me and I clicked yes in a pop-up without reading it? Uh, let's read the province history right here. July 1st, 1468, joined the Holy Roman Empire. All right, boys, what I think I'm going to do here is Alt F4 and hope that I have a save from this date, you know, because uh, it saves like every few months, right? And if it's not overwritten, I think I'm going to jump back to this date and see what happened. Okay, boys, I wasn't able to jump back in that save, but uh, I did some messing around in uh, another Herzegovina game. I, I booted it up in non-Iron Man. And what I think happened here is after I cored this up, I was eligible to click the Join HRE button, but I just didn't notice when I clicked it. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's what happened right here, man. We are able to join after we core this up. The button was grayed out earlier because it wasn't a core. So uh, let's add all provinces. And now we're a member of the HRE. Uh, my stupidness surprises me sometimes. So the Ottomans did just declare on the Mamluks, but no one would help, man. It's just Austria. Me and Austria can't take these guys. They're way too powerful. They got Tunis as well. If Poland wanted to join, I would have pounced about attitude, man. Uh, and I don't even have favors with them to make them, you know, reduce opinion of the Ottomans, prepare for war. So, uh, yeah. 
opportunity missed right here, but oh well. Maybe we actually can get them. They don't have attitude anymore. That guy is malevolent, but with favors, they would join. I got four favors right now. Uh, I'm maxed out on opinion. Yeah, I, just a waiting game. All right, I did just get 10 favors with Poland. Now they would join, but these guys just rolled through the Mamluks so quickly, man. They're already at 80%. They got Cairo and Alexandria. Is there even a point, man? Because they'll just peace out the Mamluks right away and hop right back. They got 60k. Austria's got 40k. Poland, 30k. Lithuania, 30k. Hmm, what's our numbers look like, man? I don't know. I'm kind of scared. What's their tech? Their tech 6. Austria is 5. Poland's 5. I'm 6. Uh, they, they got a 4 right here. Poland's got a 4 right here, so they should tech up quickly. Uh, worst comes to worst, we can just peace out, I hope. You know what? Fortune favors the brave, baby. Let's get it. All right, well, first battle time, I guess. They got 17k, I got 14k. My general is insane, but then again, this is the Ottoman. So let me bring it down to speed 4 for you guys, and uh, let's just see what happens right here in this battle. I'm losing if Hungary comes in quick enough. They'll jump in on the 26th, that's in 5 days. Will I stay alive for 5 more days? I think I should. Let's see right here, 24th, 25th, 26th, and I won. Nice. That wasn't hungry, by the way. It's just uh, Kanda Theory. We actually got a couple of more dubs in these mountains uh, versus Tunis and versus the Ottomans. Meanwhile, they are still at war with the Mamluks. Uh, surprisingly, the Mamluks have unoccupied Cairo. Uh, I wonder what's going to happen here. Right now, I'm just stacking on Constantinople with Poland and Lithuania. Meanwhile, they have pieced out the Mamluks, so now their full force will focus on us. Uh, Tunis isn't even sad yet, so uh, yeah. Uh, can I take new Miltech? No, not yet, apparently. Uh, yeah. And these guys are doing well, too, man. They're stacking over here behind me. Uh, I feel like the AI might know that, you know, we're supposed to protect this right here. Dog, I just had a heart attack, man. <laughs> the Burgundian succession happened, and it said the Kosaka prince here will do nicely. That's my dynasty. And I was like, yo, they picked me. Wait, yo, I'm the HRE emperor. But no, no, Austria just... Wait, well, why does it say the Kosaka prince will do nicely? They don't have uh, one of those. What I was going to say is my dynasty probably got on Austria's throne, but no, that's not what happened. But good thing, Burgundy's now in this war too. At this point, I can also secure a royal marriage with Aragon, another nation that hates the Ottomans, and I will be able to ally them later. What's up with Castile? Oof, unfortunately, Muscovy declared on Denmark right here, and... Poland's in that war too. I feel like they might dip from mine pretty soon. So I'm gonna wait for the war score to tick up a little bit more and then I think I'm gonna dip. I am multi seven now ahead of even the Ottomans. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with centralized monarchical bureaucracy here. Tunis is low. We can knock them out. Uh, can I get war reps or something? No, of course not. And we've ticked up to max war score. As we can see, the Ottomans are on low. We crushed their army so many times, man. And it's time to peace out. The gamble did pay off. Although... It doesn't always. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these provinces right here along with war reps. Not a lot, but I am going to pop out Bulgaria and Byzantium. Easy. Very, very easy. And I'm going to link with Aragon too, just like that. They should help out in the next war because they don't like each other either. These guys are rebellious, but listen, I literally couldn't care less. Good eye, boys. Let's acquire some subjects. Uh, no one's voting for me. Alrighty then. Well, Brandenburg is. I feel like this was a good idea since we do have that vassal stuff in our uh, national ideas, although we aren't there yet. Now, as we've already kind of dealt with our biggest problem, now we have a new, even bigger problem. Like I said, the goal for this campaign was not only to kick the Ottomans out of the Balkans, but to own the entirety of the Balkans as well. And uh, pretty soon we'll kick the Ottomans out, but we need to take this from Hungary. And there are like the France. All right, I'm at 11 out of five diplo relations. I feel like I could give the nobles uh, strong duchies here. Just had a comment. Uh, yeah. Let's get some galleys up and running, huh? Austria inherited Burgundy. That's good for me. Austria will be more powerful, I guess. And I actually come to think of it, it's a good thing that Austria didn't get Hungary because I'd rather fight Hungary and France instead of Austria Emperor in Hungary, I guess. Just took admin tech, second idea group time, and I feel like we gotta go with something mill here. Now, I would go with quantity since we are like super rich, but I am banking on becoming the Emperor, in which case quantity becomes irrelevant. So uh, let's go with something like offensive. Now I'm seeing a little opportunity here, boys. If we want to declare on Hungary, a lot of our boys would join. Most importantly, though, Poland and Lithuania would come in along with some smaller guys right here. Now, even though Austria is pretty powerful and they could be a large problem, I feel like we could swarm Hungary real quick, me and my vassals in Poland and Lithuania, and then once Hungary is out, all our focus can be shifted to France and we can knock them out as well. Um, 
Austria would uh, not join because it would destabilize them. Do they have access? They don't. They probably have really good relations, though. That's why it would destabilize them. So maybe I can make Austria reduce their opinion of Hungary and then call them in. Let's see. All right, let's uh, make them reduce their opinion of Hungary. Where is it? It's right there. And I'm going to wait a month. And now I'm going to ask them to prepare for war. And they actually still wouldn't help, huh? Let's let me check again. Yeah, they still wouldn't help. They still have a too good of an opinion of uh, Hungary. Let's see right here in the opinions of Austria. Let's scroll down and find Hungary. Yeah, they like Hungary too much. And I think I should go ahead and declare here, man. This war should be a lot more of a, you know, safe bet than the war we declared on the Ottomans. So I feel like we can do this right here, man. Is Poland good? Hmm, they're kind of low on manpower and stuff like that. I feel like we still can do it. Let's go ahead and call in all of these boys and declare for Belgrade right here. We should be able to do it. And I am actually going to bomb a bunch of forts here as much as I can to knock out Hungary as fast as I can. I do have this fleet right here, and I'm going to get an Admiral, pop that guy out, get this galley in there too, and uh, tell people to attach to this right here. Keep losing stab, man, and I don't have enough points to stab up. Let's call in uh, Milan too, because apparently we can. What about Austria? They still wouldn't come in. These tiny guys right here are still holding off France, which was the plan. And to get everything I want from Hungary, it's going to be 65 war score. I wonder if we can do that without engaging France at all. And meanwhile, Mainz and Milan have been knocked out. Yeah, a bunch of my boys were knocked out just now. Pretty soon we're going to be even in numbers if we're not already. And actually, boys, now that France is here, I feel like we could get into a lot of trouble. And I don't know if I want to continue in this dangerous war because both me and Poland are low on manpower. So what I'm going to do right here is actually make Hungary break their alliance with France and just take uh, this province right here so we can pop out Croatia. Or maybe I should just take Belgrade. You know what? Let's just take Belgrade right here, make them end their alliance with France. That's it. And uh, no, not with Ulm. Oh, my God, dude. There we go. Jesus. And uh, I think we're going to call that right there next war should be easier as long as they don't ally austria or something like that or maybe now austria might tu them all right hold up i just got this event and in lance hud <laughs> see they, they, they there's my guy and i just got it again now he's in biz too damn i like this dynasty and now we got four dudes voting for us as long as this stays the same as soon as uh ferdinand right here dies uh we should be hre emperor now the ottomans declared on hungary i wonder if they'll take stuff over here i don't think they will I think they'll take stuff like right here. And there we go. Austria pounced on Hungary as well. Uh, I should have just kept going in that last war, man. It was a mistake making Hungary end their alliance with France. And what I really should have done is taken this so we can pop out Croatia. And then I could have begged Austria for these cores back. Oh, well, hindsight's 2020, I guess. I think Austria is about to be you Hungary and they're about to become the war leader versus the Ottomans. Uh, let's see. That's exactly what happened. Oh my god, Austria, please... Call me in somehow, dude. They're not calling anyone in, man. They could they could pull in all of these boys. And dude, Ottomans, 50k troops, barely. Austria's at 83, dog. You know what, boys? It's my time to shine, man. Let's declare a reconquest for uh, that province right there. Let me select it. There we go. Call in Poland. Oops. Call in Poland and Lithuania and Aragon. And let's go hit the Ottomans as well, baby. I guess if they weren't going to call me in, I have to do my own thing here, huh? Okay, well, war is going all right. Austria dipped. I just got Brandenburg as a junior partner. And meanwhile, uh, Austria put a Habsburg on my throne. Lots of development, so let's keep going. All right, uh, I've knocked out everyone else that was in this war. These two guys right here and Tunis. I was struggling kind of up until now because it was just me and my two boys fighting over here. And the Ottomans were just pouring into us. I lost so many battles, dude. But now that Poland and Lithuania are out of here and Aragon is out of here, I feel like with all our focus on the Ottomans, we should be able to take them down as long as they don't dip. Meanwhile, Landshut's foreign Bavaria, so that's a nice uh, choice right there for me to ally Landshut. And uh, I've just been elected HRE Emperor as well. Uh, you, you guys know it's a hectic war when I just gloss over getting a random PU and uh, being elected Emperor. Uh, apparently this is new too. We can usurp the electorate where I'll become an elector and we lose Imperial Authority. Brandenburg doesn't like me that much. I will usurp the electorship and there we go. That's me. Let's improve with Brandenburg. I am a lot more powerful now. Manpower is insane. Oh, war score still not that much. Also, Aragon left. And Lithuania, yeah, they're still here, all right? And war score is so low because we've lost so many battles. 
All right, Poland and Lithuania dipped as well. Let's see what the Ottomans do. I might just have to peace out for nothing here, man. We lost so many battles. Ah, pure four got reform time as well. Let's maintain the balance of power. Oh, all right, bro. That's about as much as we can get, man. Ah, super unfortunate, but let's do something like that. No, we can't do that, can we? At least this will be locked in, right? We can take some more that, this. Ah. One of the hardest wars we've ever fought, and it was all pretty much for nothing. And my boys Biz and Bulgaria have both joined the HRE now. I disinherited my Habsburg heir because she was female and then I couldn't get elected emperor again, and Bavaria has claimed my throne. I lost this thing? Why? Oh well. Alright, fellers, my truce with the Ottomans is up, and all my boys would join the ones that I want, Poland, Austria, and Aragon. So, let's do a real war this time, where we don't lose 79 battles and let's do a reconquest for that right there. Uh, I mean, uh, reconquest. There we go. Where is it? There we go. And uh, yeah, let's get it. And uh, just like that, the Ottomans have been 100 percented No troops left. Full occupied. I even made Tunis break their alliance with them. This is the end for you, my friend. And this is what I'm going to take in this war. And that's a good war with the Ottomans. Done. 10th idea group, by the way, uh, I am going to go with influence, I think, just so I can annex these guys. Or maybe I don't even need to annex them. Hmm. Nah, I'm way behind in Niflotech. Let's not go with influence. Let's take uh, another mill idea group. How about defensive? And at this point, I can also pass Institute Reich's Regiment. Or no, I can't. Alrighty then. <laughs> and now the Ottomans just got declared on by QQ and Mamluks. Meritocratic recruitment. I'm gonna go wrap up Ragusa while the Ottomans are busy with those guys. Let's just call in uh, Milan and Bavaria to help me deal with this. Because they will have to fight the Pope. And I'm thinking of a way to fight uh, Austria-Hungary without actually declaring on them directly because they're only took a steal. And what I've come up with here, sorta, is declaring on Naples since pretty much everyone except Austria would help me. And then I could just take these provinces without co-belligerenting them because all of these provinces in Croatia and Slavonia at double war score are around 60-something percent war score cost. non co -belligerented. So I feel like uh, declaring on Naples here is the way to go. So let's just go ahead and spy on them. Hey! Prussia. Wait, what? Wait, it's not Brandenburg. How did this happen? Uh, I guess Brandenburg gets a PU over Prussia when it forms, since it's kind of scripted, but then again, it's not. But because I have Brandenburg, I've gotten Prussia as well. Dude, who knew Herzegovina is literally the most powerful nation in the, the game, dog? <laughs> I'm loving this campaign, man. You guys should give it a shot as well. Just make sure to go Catholic at the start. All right, Ragusa's done. All right, so the way I see it, we gotta hit Naples here, man. So let's call in all the boys here. And the main goal of this war is, of course, to take these provinces in Croatia and Slavonia from Hungary. This is gonna be tough, boys. Probably harder than fighting the Ottomans. And just like that, Austria will accept. Let me just make sure. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what I need. So thank you, Austria. And I'm just gonna white piece uh, Naples. Yeah, I'm gonna ally QQ now and France. And yeah, as soon as our truce with the Ottomans is up, we'll go ahead and crush them and take the remaining four provinces that we need in order to complete the goal. This is not in the Balkans, but I might give it back to Hungary and uh, Wallachia either way. And now we can pass Absolute Reichsstabilität. Council of Trent Fire, I'm gonna go conciliatory. And my truce with the Ottomans is up. Poland, Bavaria, and Aragon would join, and the Timurids would not, which are the Ottomans' new ally, which is excellent. So let's go ahead and do our little reconquest for this province right here and wrap this campaign up. Oh no, France would join too? Why not? Now QQ would join too? <laughs> Why not? Become Defender of the Faith? Why not? <laughs> Theodorov joined the HRE. <laughs> and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we've crushed the Ottomans. Easy. Very easy. So let's go ahead and give this back to Bulgaria and make them give this back to, uh, what's it called? To Hungary and make them release Wallachia. And with that, our goal is accomplished and we have kicked the Ottomans out of the Balkans and we also own the entirety of the Balkans. Well, maybe not directly ourselves, but, you know, we could annex these guys at any point in time. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as Herzegovina and inspired by my Bosnia run where I was Catholic and I was able to easily get alliances and crush the Ottomans, I decided to do the same thing this campaign, flipped a Catholic, and after I did, I was able to ally these guys and a bunch of other guys as well, expand into the small guys over here, expand into Albania and Venice, and then when the Ottomans declared on Mamluks, even though I was hesitant, I declared on them, and well, we didn't really crush them, but we did very heavily defeat them. After that, there was a stupid war, 
where I lost a bunch of battles and I couldn't take a lot. After that, we took a bunch of more provinces back to Biz and Bulgaria, declared on Naples to take these things from Hungary, which got into a personal union with Austria, a very powerful Austria, by the way. And finally, we declared our final war and retook all the final provinces and made them give back some stuff over here. Overall, man, one of the most fun campaigns I've had in a while in U4, man. And I would have never thought that it would happen with a nation such as this right here, a nation which I thought was insignificant and irrelevant and that we would struggle a lot and be very weak. But no, we became super powerful, man. Our dynasty is in a bunch of nations, Brandenburg, Prussia, obviously Bavaria too, us down here and in Byzantium. We got Brandenburg and Prussia as junior partners, Bulgaria and Biz as vassals, making a ton of cash the entirety of the game, especially thanks to the gold mine, a super powerful army. We became HRE Emperor Dog with three past reforms, even though I've just passed one of these. I am an elector myself as well. All of these boys are voting for me, converted everything that I own to Catholic, and man, oh man, did I have fun this campaign. And I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Herzegovina and try to do what I did as well. A lot of luck here and there, a lot of lost battles here and there, but overall, we finally achieved our goal to kick the Ottomans out of the Balkans and own the entirety of the Balkans as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm very happy to say that this campaign as Herzegovina in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Herzegovina in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.